So in this video we're going to demonstrate how to use a current clamp or an amp clamp or a current probe. Just It's all the same thing, just has different, goes by different names. So we'll use this current probe. And uh, we're going to start out by coming over here to the fuse box. We can put this current probe around any wire that has current going through it. What you don't want to do is go around two wires at once. For example, the power and ground wire to a light bulb, if you go around both of them, the the current flowing in, the current flowing out will cancel itself out and you won't get a reading. We can put this around any wire that has current going through it. Um, this particular current clamp is made for up to 60 amps. It says that uh, somewhere here. 60 amps max right there at the bottom. And it's not going to hurt it if you have higher current than that, but it, uh, it's only accurate up to 60 amps. This is a low current probe versus a higher current probe that has a bigger clamp and is good for maybe 400 or 600 amps. And um, and one other thing you have to know is when you do clamp this around a wire, you need to make sure that that clamp closes tightly. If the wire is too big, if you try to clamp around something that was too big and it wouldn't close tightly, that won't work. It won't give you a reading either. So it needs to be able to clamp completely around the wire that you're measuring. So we'll come over here to this fuse box and we can pick a fuse to any circuit that we want to measure. We'll take that one right there, remove the fuse. This makes an easy way to, to access and test this. Then we'll install a fuse jumper that's made to fit into this. Um, here's an example, a homemade, homemade fuse jumper. We've got flat terminals on the end so that they'll fit right into the terminals on the fuse box without damaging them. Um, you don't want to just stick any terminal into those, into those female terminals there. But this, this will work. Also here is a store-bought version. It's, it's made, you can see, so that it fits right in where the fuse was. We take the fuse that we pulled out and we would stick it right into here so that it's still got a fuse. Then we can clamp our amp clamp around this. But for our purposes today, we'll just use the homemade one. So that's installed into the spot where the fuse was. Now we can take the current probe and connect it to the multimeter. A lot of people think that because we're measuring current that we should plug this into the amp setting. That is false. This current probe converts amps into voltage and so we want to connect that right where your voltmeter leads would be. We turn the voltmeter to the voltage DC setting and we turn on this current probe, this particular one, we have two options. You can choose a lower current setting. It basically is good for up to 20 amps, or you can use a higher current setting that's good for up to 60. And we're going to be measuring something that's less than 20 amps, we think, so we'll set it in the, that first setting. And if you look at the uh, meter, it's not at zero right now, so zero it by hitting the zero button. On some current probes, you have to, it's just a knob you turn until it goes to zero. We're good. Just make sure you do that before you place the current probe around the wire. We don't zero it after, or else you might zero it with current flowing through it. So go ahead and place it around the wire. It still shows there isn't any current flowing through that wire, so we'll go ahead and turn on the light circuit here. And once he turns that on, we immediately get a reading on the multimeter. If you look closely at that, it's 170 millivolts or 0.17 volts. We come over to this. In this setting that we're at, to focus, one, we're in that middle setting, one millivolt is 10 milliamps. So basically, we multiply that by 10. So 17, we get 170 millivolts, right? Multiply multiply that by 10 and we end up with 1.7 amps and that's the, the current going to the park light up here. Anyway that's how you use a current probe. 